Hey guys, um, Joe Simpson here, just following up with my promised price comparison of the two baits, um, of the two subscription bait companies that we talked about the other day, Mystery Tackle Box and Lucky Tackle Box. Let's dive right in. I'm going to keep this short and sweet and just show you what I came up with. So let's do Lucky Tackle Box first. I have two price sheets side by side on the computer. I'm running a screen record so we can go through this and talk about it. So I have the Tiger Bomb patch, which I, I thought was pretty cool. It was You can get these for five of them for $5 online. I put a dollar on there for that. Um, I just thought that was a nice personal touch. So we have this Monster Bass, which I really couldn't find anywhere. This uh, It's like a Sammy or like a you know walk in the dog type of bait. But I was able to find it at a suggested retail price of $11.99. I took $2 off because I thought it was an in-house and that they were probably just cheating the suggested retail. And I put $9.99. Um, and that still might be high. So then I have the VNM Drop Shad. These came in larger packages on eBay and I found them for $3.99. So I just put $2, cut it in half because it's about a half a pack. Um, VMC Power Hooks, these guys right here, they're sold in packs of four for $5. And so I just put it at $2.50. Um, then we had the Kick and Jerk, which is this jerk bait right here. I was able to find the Kick and Jerk for about $5.99. And then we have the Texas Tackle Creature Bait, which I wasn't able to find the actual Texas Tackle Creature Bait, but I did find something by like Power Bait. So I just used that price, which was eight baits for seven. This was half as much, so I just gave it a 350. And then I had the Throwback Lure Wagon Shad, which was not that big of a deal in my, my opinion as far as a crankbait goes. Nice lure, but you know nothing special. So I just put 399, which is about your average run of the mill price. So taking the Lucky Tackle Box price and going all the way from top to bottom, um, adjusting the prices, you're coming in somewhere around 33 bucks. So at 14.99 for a uh, you know, subscription price, that's a pretty good value. And um, we'll now go over to the Mystery Tackle Box. The one thing that I thought was kind of cool is that even though it seemed like you had more stuff in Lucky Tackle Box physically, um, the price comparison came in a little closer. Um, when you look at value. So you can't always look at face value of things and say, oh, this one's better or worse or whatever. It really depends on your needs and what you want. So in the mystery tackle box, I have the Catchco Spinnerbait, which is a house brand. So I couldn't really find anything reliable on this pricing. So what I did was I went to a Strike King or a Booyah that had two blades, willow blades, and had you know, a trailer hook. And I was coming up with about $6.99, so that's what I put in on that one. These... Uh, Biospawn Exoswims, they're sold in different quantities, but basically by the time you adjust, you're at about five bucks for these. Um, then you have your Big Bite Minnow Packs. These are sold in larger packs. So I broke that down to $3. Normally it's about $6. And then the Pro Sunny B Twin Spin. This is a little more expensive and I was able to find their crankbaits at about eight or nine bucks, but I couldn't really find this particular lure. So I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be around eight or nine bucks. It could be a couple dollars more. Even still, when you look at both of these compared, they're about the same price. Lucky Tackle Box and Mystery Tackle Box gave you a decent value no matter which way you went in terms of value per lure. The only thing I'll say that's a little subjective is that if I were to go out and fish the Mystery Tackle Box, versus the Lucky Tackle Box out on the water. I would just have more choices in the Lucky Tackle Box. I would have some top water, I'd have the crank bait, and then I would have the jerk bait. Those would be my hard bait choices. And then I would have a creature bait and then a minnow style bait to work that as well. Whereas the Mystery Tackle Box, I had the minnow style bait and I had a spinner bait and I had basically a crank bait. I think that was, oh, and the swim baits. But I had more choices, I think, in the Lucky Tackle Box. So I still think Lucky Tackle Box pulled it out this month. The value is a little more, I'm probably off on my numbers, I'd call them the same. As far as amount of things you get, the Lucky Tackle Box pulled it off this month, had more things to choose from. Although, like, I don't even know if top water would be applicable exactly right now in Virginia in April, because it's 50 degrees out there, still a little bit too cold. Um, but at least I have those choices and those lures to look at. Uh, I think Mystery Tackle Box gave you a little bit higher quality lures, maybe higher price lures, but it seems like you're getting less. For me, I like the Lucky Tackle Box and the way that feels. I like, I don't mind things on a budget. I don't mind cutting corners um, on, on quality of lures just to have more choices and more available selections when I'm in the boat or on the bank. 
Um, but you know, it's really up to personal preference. So, so far I would say Lucky Tackle Box took April. Um, not by a huge landslide like I did the other night, um, but if you stack everything up, it looks like Lucky Tackle Box has more stuff. If you price it all out, they're very close to the same. And as far as fishing choices, more of a subjective analogy, I would say you have more fishing choices with the Lucky Tackle Box box. 